Hey everybody, it's Bill Moore back again with another fresh pod review for you from Mr. Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. And you can check him out at superhotchilies.com. And what I'm going to be reviewing today is the Chocolate Scotch Bonnet. Boy, I tell you, this is really a beautiful looking pod. Take a look at that, everybody. Nice shape on this. Got the nice uh, bonnet shape to it. And just looks like a it's nice and smooth. This looks like milk chocolate. But uh, we'll go ahead and read a little bit here on the website. Um, it says that this is a capsicum chinense. And uh, the um, chocolate scotch bonnet has a slight bonnet shape like its yellow relative, but it's much hotter and the peppers get much larger in size. It has a fruity and a slightly smoky flavor. Peppers ripen from green to dark brown and can get almost two inches in diameter. And like other chocolate habanero types, it is extremely productive. Plants can get over four feet tall. Great for sauces and salsas. And I just love the Scotch Bonnet pepper. I think it has a, a better flavor than the uh, habanero pepper, um, in my opinion anyway. But let's go ahead and check out this uh, chocolate one. Go ahead and cut this open and see what it looks like. They say the Scotch Bonnet peppers can range anywhere between 100, 150,000 to um, 350,000, but um, I believe they say that the um, chocolate one uh, can be as high as 500,000. So, but uh, nice looking insides on this one. Here's what we got, everybody. Smells uh, right off the bat. It kind of smells like a uh, a bell pepper. Doesn't have a uh, real strong um, capsaicin type smell to it, but it does look a little bit um, oily inside. It's got a nice smell to it. Okay, here we go. The uh, <clears throat> chocolate Scotch bonnet. Mm. Wow, it's a lot to chew. Mm. Woo, right off the bat, it's got a nice um, tip of the tongue burn on it right now. Just really stinging the tongue pretty much immediately after I started chewing on it. I'm just trying to get this thing down. Uh, first hot pepper I've done in uh, a few days, so it's probably going to affect me pretty good. Seems to be, um, doesn't seem that, um, it does have a smoky type flavor to it. It doesn't seem really uh, fruity to me. Um, maybe even slightly bitter. I don't know, but uh, it does have that kind of a smoky, earthy um, flavor to it that most of your uh, chocolate or your brown pods have. <sighs> but it's got that stingy habanero type heat. Um, Mainly focused on the front of the mouth, front of the tongue especially. It's got the pins and needles uh, kind of going on on the tongue. Uh, it's got me tearing up quite a bit. But nothing uh, crazy, super hot, you know, in the back of the throat or anything like that. Uh, yeah, just mainly focused on the front of the mouth surrounding the tip of the tongue is really stingy pretty good that habanero type stingy burn uh, but I think that would make a good um, a great um, 
um, hot sauce. Chocolate habaneros make a great hot sauce. I think these uh, chocolate scotch bonnets would uh, make an awesome uh, hot sauce and salsa as well. <clears throat> Doesn't seem, I think it's, uh, I think it's almost peaked. Yeah, it's definitely, um, it's definitely not getting any hotter. Um, mainly just kind of the, the hot dragon breath a little bit going on, but mainly that stingy habanero type burn focused on the front of the mouth, the tongue and the front part of the mouth. <clears throat> but pretty good flavor. It just seemed to be uh, slightly bitter, kind of that smoky flavor, but the earthy uh, flavor of uh, that usually the brown pods have. <sighs> Give it a little bit more time here to see what it does. I don't know if this one is approaching 500,000 Scoville level units. I've um, had a lot hotter habaneros, regular habaneros, with more of an all over stingy burn. Uh, this one's got me tearing up a little bit, but the burn is not that bad. Yeah, it's definitely peaked. It's coming down a little bit now, easing up on the tongue quite a bit. Just kind of a little bit uh, towards the back of the throat as you talk. I'll let you know that you ate and swallowed a hot pepper. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and cut this one short, but uh, thank you, Jim, for sending that. Everybody, once again, that was the... Uh, chocolate Scotch Bonnet Pepper uh, from Mr. Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. He is proud to offer the rarest and hottest chili seeds, plants, and fresh chilies. Seems like Jim can really get his hands on uh, some very unique seeds. So check him out for all your seeds and fresh pods and seeds and at superhotchilies.com. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, thanks, Jim. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you later.